What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off last time, we've been doing lots of clearing up in Persia to try and get as many troops as possible up to the front line in Baghdad. And as part of that, Theodore is going to keep clearing up these Persian units uh, that are currently hanging around in Afghanistan. So let's just quickly mop up this small army and then they will march, he will march northwest if possible and attack those two armies to the north. But yeah, uh, we are starting to see the Ottoman doom stacks from Ankara march towards Baghdad and right now Baghdad has no defences so we need to be really careful about how we about how we defend that city. Right now, I just want to push these guys up to surround and destroy this this small force. Because right now they are a small force. I mean, it looks like they don't want to. They don't want to do anything. They're just going to well, they're going to charge right at me by the looks of it. Keep my cavalry on the move. So camel gunners are frustrating, but they're not they're not the end of the world. That's the general's bodyguard. Just the two of them. So let's run this final Fine company. Oh dear, poor, poor general. Pfft. That's enough of that. Okay, so we've, they've made it quite clear that they want to get up to shenanigans. You charge the camel gunners. Let's get my cavalry down here. Same with my general. You men charge the lancers. Yeah, I'm open to losing some men. So right now they are pinned against a square formation. So just keep attacking them temporarily while we... Keep attacking them while we uh, push more men into the fight. My cuirassiers can hit musketeers. Go. Okay, let's run my cuirassiers away. Actually, no, that's not. Let's keep an eye out, though. Make sure. There we go. Let's stop my firing. New men engage the Kizil Bashi Musketeers. These guys are not going to be long for this world, so let's turn fire at will off for all these guys. Fire at will off for all my artillery. Yes, we do want to continue just in case these rapscallions decide their interests are better served through not disappearing on the battle, battle map. Because we should. If we, if we destroy enough of them, they will... 
disappear from the campaign map, which is what we want to see. Because then we know that the army has been entirely destroyed. Okay, there we go. That's close victory number one. See, they've not been fully destroyed. They, if anything, they've retreated south, which is not what we want. But if they want to try and attack Nerun, they are welcome to. What's more likely to happen is they'll just rout, they'll just uh, run around and raid. We can't attack northwest. All these guys have moved up. You're getting ready to march up towards Hamid Kayamere, so you guys are only waiting for one unit to replenish. Let's walk within range. I was going to attack them anyway. I want to try and get here to trap them. But I'll take the offensive action anyway. Let's go and clear out one of these stacks, because then this will be two more armies that we can march up towards the front. And at least we've got another army uh, deployed, or well, another army gathering, gathering strength in India, which can be deployed north. Although, to be honest, I probably should have freed up the port at Basra. Okay, I like this as an artillery spot. To be honest, I wonder if they will. just sit back and not push because we are the ones on the offensive. I mean our left flank is absolutely going to push up so you get potentially the lion's share of the cavalry. So I'll keep you guys un uh, lim unlimbered or limbered up. Put my general on the right. I mean, these, when I say these guys are going to push up, it's because there is... the terrain here isn't ideal. Okay, here come the cavalry. Whole line deploying to square. Okay, maybe not the whole line. You guys might actually deploy. That's right, you guys get back now. They're upset. These guys need to be positioned like this. Just try and get a maximum, maximum guns on target. These guys all need to fire canister shot at these lancers to, for their own safety. Because if they turned. If they turn to fight to run into my guns, are these guys like withdrawing. So who are they? Musketeers. Okay. okay, the native lancers are. They have seen that weakness. Cut down half their number, and that should increase. There we go. Massed artillery fire. Okay, I want one of these howitzers to try. Keep hitting camel gunners on the right, because they've got a better arc to do it. The ones here need to probably start pummeling some of these men 
currently sat safe and sound in their defensive positions. So these guys can't really fire canister shot. But they'll try. They can just about get some some shots to hit. Switch to round shot. Let's get this regiment of horse in to knock out these musketeers and then the push is on. Although they know it's on. Fall back. So these guys are now desperately pushing up. the armed lancers they do lots of damage on the charge but when they're in combat that's when my guys start to take charge there we go now they're done for charge my general in because he's got an opportunity to hit them in the rear. They can't be long for this world, surely. You men finish reloading because you can then chop them up. position because this right flank when it goes when it falls they all go deploy our cavalry through the center group all my howitzers together and start shooting at something else Let my cavalry loose. Because right now they've got. I mean, their flank is crumbled. Damn. Guard de Corps took a bit of a hit there. Was it? At least they're only fighting people that are running away. There we go. Keep on mopping them up. General's bodyguard's coming in. This thing acting like, I want a piece of this. When in reality, they don't. Let's get all these guys in against that unit of Kizorbashi. You hit the 46th. There we go. 60 seconds are upset. You hit the Kizobashi, the right hand howitzers hit. 70 second. East India, okay, all, to be honest, all my cavalry get out of here. I don't want to fight that fight. Mm, 
not when there's relatively simple... Okay, you're in a bit of a sticky spot. Let's curve you guys back. Okay, cavalry, 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 cavalry. Are you all doing good stuff? Actually, no, you guys can... No, that flank's actually recovered quite well. These howitzers focus on the 72nd. Eh, you're okay. You help out against the 56th. Let me to get ready to mop up this next pocket. So who are you? General's bodyguard. This regiment of foot, when they reload it, they're going to do some... Well, they're not going to do great amount of damage. Do you guys also get ready? Those howitzers aim at the 63rd. See if they can chase down the general's bodyguard. It looks like they should be able to. should probably go after some of those units that are a bit more central. Try to take the hill. Send in the cavalry. Let's bring all this cavalry over onto the other flank. You guys load up and do some shooting. To be honest, how it's a stop firing. No, don't worry about the levy. Don't you pick a cavalry unit, but which one? I don't know. There we go. Hit the 46th from the rear. You guys charge in just to make sure they break. Okay, you go stop firing as well. And then it's speed up time. It's quite an elite little regiment you got there. Be a shame if someone killed all your men. But that's quite a big unit. Oi oi, Savaloi. Let's do a bit of focusing on the general, just to make sure we can actually get them all. I mean, they've spread out, so I expect pathfinding to still be pretty poor. There we go. You knock out that unit. You guys are going to try and... I mean, they did have 300 men. Now they're down to 80. So that's pretty good. Okay, the only unit left is this one over here. And there they go. They're about to rout. 
But there we go, that was a nice, nice win. That gutted their force. Impossible, sir. To be honest, you can probably chase them down and auto resolve the final one. Yeah, you're damn right you can. Proud and victorious. Forward march. You men replenish. Sir. You men replenish, continue to march up. I don't think. Okay, one thing I know I've definitely done wrong is I've done this ass backwards. Recruit a bunch of infantry out of Baghdad first. So I want to give them some help. See, I should have got rid of that Jebek. Because then this army that's coming in from India could deploy into Basra and then move up the road quite quickly. Hmm. We've done the new town, lots of new stuff. Up here in Europe, we are... We've positioned our troops. You guys want to, want to keep you guys where you are, nice and steady. Uh, Berlin, you need probably three howitzers. Not as quite as much cavalry as I'd like. Although you probably don't need as much lines. Let's pop you out because I need to give you guys a general. Shot de Belleba. Belleba, whatever. You're currently not doing anything. You may as well raid this trade, trade route. Still converting Sweden. But I don't think there's a lot we can do with repairing Orléans to try and get rifled barrels. So let's hit end turn. And I am expecting Ottoman trouble. A lot of it. Because right now we haven't... We don't have defences at Baghdad. If they wait till we have defences, then they're going to be uh, in a bit of a trickier position. Yeah, raid away, Austria. I don't mind. See, they are building their strength near Prague. Uh, I mean, I might auto-resolve it, because the only real strength they have is the garrison. But it will impact this other force. We are I don't want to fight it, but I have to fight it. But I don't want to fight it properly because we've already we already have done, and it wasn't really a major. It wasn't really a major. Uh, a major action that we needed to take care of. Was it frustrating? Sure, but not a lot we can do about that. Good. Then. Oh, okay. Take your time. Take your time raiding. That's very very important. The longer they wait, the more time we get to build Baghdad defences. Good. And the more time we get to build the fences, the more time we have to... Uh, the more time we have to bring armies up to the front. Yeah, the forces I've got near Lahore are going to mop up that army, that force back there that was doing some raiding. They are not long for this world. Although, to be honest, maybe the Lahore, the current Lahore garrison can clean up that army there. Yeah, don't care, Spain. Okay, you guys stay out of the way. Yeah, you guys can mop them up. Wow. Make ready. Well, Mark. you guys replenish and then continue to chase them down. You men Sir. recombine. 
head back towards here. I mean, to be honest, we don't need both of these pleasure gardens here in Lahore. You men are replenishing. Let's replenish this. Let's build the church school here. The garrison as a heathen doesn't need to be here anymore. I mean, I might pick up some militia just to be sh just to be safe. And then this force is also going to hightail it to Baghdad. But we do have another army being built here. Our backup force at Baghdad is being built. Let's give it a general. Let's give it a general so I can make sure I'm getting the troops from next door or well, the troops from Baghdad You're struggling for regular artillery I mean you can hmm can't build Foot artillery there, that's a bit of a bummer. So you currently have a coaching in, but that's not what I'm bothered about. You men can continue back towards Azerbaijan. All these men are going to be pushing in from the north. Lord. Okay, let's run round to the south. Lord. And then up into Dilman Nadim. There we go. Let's go and engage these Ottomans and push them northward. Ironically, back towards the capital where we don't necessarily want them to be, um, but it's still a damn sight better than leaving them to run around nearer uh, or down the south where they could be a bit more frustrating. So, we are going to go on the offensive. Artillery hunker right at the back. The howitzers be a bit closer forward. Four infantry units in the centre. Now we're going to have three units on the left. Three units on the right. There we go. Light and heavy mixed together. General and heavy mixed together. Okay, so we know. So we've got one army, a reinforcing army coming in from the flank. Let's begin to march you guys up. Yeah, all our artillery is just going to open up on the men on the hill. So let's just quickly push up to destroy them. These men, oh, there's some sec bands pushing up. 24 powder howitzer. The Bashis have had enough. I mean, these Muslim are definitely going to have enough. Damn, fall back. Push in with my cavalry to intercept. Hello, Armenian archers. Hello, Kurdish hillmen. Hillmen! I'll call Hillmen! Ah, oh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I love you so. So they've got Sekbans, Armenian archers, and some Azar coming in. So if I send a good... And some Fellaine musketeers... I'll have quite a good infantry contingent in there. OK, 
Okay, general, fall back. Yeah, you guys are going to be okay. You know, Armenian archers and some Kurdish hillmen there. Okay, actually, let's deploy you guys into square. So I can run my general through the square. The heavy cavalry is still charging down the archers. They're reloading, so you men better, better fire first. And they have done, and there goes all the quick line. Okay, right, that's not quite gone to plan. But now two can play at the quick line game. Your artillery shoot the crap out of the Delhi horsemen. Uh oh, flashy bazooks. The old artillery engaged the Bashi Bazooks. So you men reload. Okay, they're shaken. Yeah, my guys are around because they weren't weren't gonna stand up the Bashi Bazooks and I was pounding the bejeez out of them with my artillery. Keep running my cavalry forward. Those Mamelukes know well, they're up to something. There we go. I can draw. I can uh, kite them in front of my own infantry. One guy fired his gun. Then if I turn around and charge them, there we go. And we do want to make sure we kill the Bashi Bazooks. To be honest, my general can do that. I thought so. You men drop into square. The old artillery blow the bejesus out of the feline musketeers. These Mamelukes are trapped between two square formations, so I don't anticipate they're going to cause too many problems. I mean, they say combatants even, but that's definitely not true. Feline have been knocked back. So let's move up and take the high ground. You guys are going to move forward and knock out the Azar. There we go. Let's bring in... There we go. 
fold the flank around. So the Azars have been routing, routed. Cressier is going to come around on the flank. How it's to start to pick off some of these. Actually, might focus on the Nizam at the rear. These Armenian archers actually want to do stuff at the rear. Not a great position. You guys charge the Feline. These men aren't long for this world. Yeah, there we go. They were going to absorb some punishing volleys. Tempting to chase them down, but let's not get crazy. Well, my general can chase down the Armenian archers. Can it stop these guys from shooting? Because even though it's making the Feline route or waver. Okay, Bashi Bazooks. We need to remain aware of the fact that our strength comes from the fact that we outclass their musket troops. Don't try to compete against them in the melee arena. Because that's fruitless, especially as I've... I, <laughs> playing the Ottoman campaign has given me a whole newfound respect for the Ottoman melee game. There goes the Cour de Bois. Engage the Bashi Bazooks. Make them route so that when my Cressiers come in. There we go, that's then knocked out. Feline. Nizam. Mounted Nizam. Ooh, Janissary Grenadiers. I wonder if you guys are reloaded. If you are, that would be perfect. Ah, oh, damn. It's gonna hurt. Not as much as that will. <laughs> All that. Good. You guys pick out, pick up the Nizam. Work on the Feline. Come on, Semini. One more volley. Dang. Mounted Nizam have charged in. The Semini have routed. Ooh, lots of bad artillery fire going in. There, that's the end of the Mounted Nizam. You guys push around the flank.
that's probably enough for the Nizam. We aren't looking to destroy them, we're just looking to cause them upset. There we go, heavy cavalry straight into the mus into the Fellaeen. Let's get all of our howitzers to instead focus on no one. You men can hit the Fellaeen. Stop our artillery from shooting before it starts just doing friendly fire for the fun of it. There we go. You chase them down. You chase them down. The generals nearly killed these Armenian archers. I mean, we'll chase them down, but I don't expect to do a whole lot of damage. I mean, these Fellaine Musketeers are very upset. We've lost a lot of men in this action, but fortunately we have a significant treasury. But there we go. That's defeated the enemy as they get pushed northward back into the deserts of Iraq Forward. What? or further into the deserts of modern day Iraq you men replenish and push up oh, I can't get to that bridge because that would be quite funny Sir. trade it raided yes let's do a bit of building can this army now leave Yankton? Exempt them from tax, yes. And let's get some militia. Is it quicker? Well, I mean, there is no port up in the Northwest Territory. Let's just get them back home. Upgrade school. Upgrade this Weaver's Cottage. Zahedan's fortified. Doesn't really matter a whole lot now. You've got some troops ready to deploy to somewhere. Persia. The industrial building's being upgraded. The church school can be upgraded. I mean, we're not converting them because they've got these priests. But once we've destroyed their faction, that will be the end of it. Okay, there we go. Because we're not going to have any movement points anyway, let's just run them up to nearby. Any order? So then in due course they can free up the port and then march north themselves. Obviously these guys look like they might be combining to try and attack Esfahan, but that's what these guys hoping to stop you guys are actually able to move up quite a lot um two church schools is a bit much cool let's hop back over to france because i want to march this guy over to the east side of those austrians and then west straight into them cool but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the first battle out of the Indian Middle East region for a... Actually, we did it. We did one in the last episode, so I'm being a bit dumb. Um, but we're starting a bit of a fight back in Western Europe. So thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.